folks, if your keypad fails on your safe, um, don't pay a locksmith to drill it out. Try this first. Um, I did, and it really worked. It helped me out. It saved my safe, and it saved me about $800. Before you go any further, this video is not about breaking into a safe. This is how to get back into a safe that you own and already have a combination for. When your keypad fails, this works most of the time at least. Worked for me. So my 20-year-old uh, Canon safe recently died. And at least the electronic keypad on it did. And um, I called Canon. They were nice enough to replace it. Uh, they're sending me one. And uh, told me that I had to get the safe drilled in order to replace it. So I was uh, get drilled. Okay. I called the local safe company. They wanted eight hundred dollars to drill the safe. They actually told me four to eight hundred dollars, and I said it'd be probably better to replace the safe. And they said we'd be happy to sell you one. Um, I didn't uh, go pursue that any further because I said there's got to be a better way. So I did a little bit of research, and this is what I found: the front panels or the locks that. Canon uses are Lagarde, LG also. Um, if you peel away the little sticker in front of it, you'll find it. And I um, did some research, made some calls, and they do re make replacement panels. So let me show you what I've got here. If you've got a Canon safe, this is probably what you have. I've already dismembered this one, and I put it back together to show you how I was able to get this off. So the first thing you need to do is, you know, with the tip of a screwdriver, peel the numbers off. And uh, underneath here, you'll see there's two uh, little sockets there. And yeah, unfortunately, you also have to take this off. Um, any of you familiar with electronics know what that is. And inside of here, you'll find two screws. Phillips. Now, LG, I took the little Canon sticker off and it says LG Lagarde, um, have upgraded these front panels twice and they are backwards compatible. So this whole thing will come off. Soon. Now the one thing that you need to be aware of is that these new ones I'm lucky in that there's uh, four holes already drilled in the safe. Uh, apparently the new ones are vertical and um, that lets you uh, replace it directly. Now this little connector goes to the locking mechanism. That locking mechanism, that locking me mechanism was, it be, was in the back. That locking mechanism was in the back of this and I actually broke it, it was facing down. Um, I ended up tearing it out because worst, worst comes to worst, I was going to cut the safe open, um, which isn't that hard to do, but it, uh, that would destroy it. But if I have to, repl if I have to pay $100 to get it drilled, I'm just going to get a new safe. Cut the safe open, get everything. Um, so this, this little cable connects to this. The new, the replacement panels that have been upgraded twice already, uh, 5715s I believe they're called, and I'll get you that part number and I'll put links to it in the description, are backward compatible. What um, reputable lock and safe um, distributors have told me is I should be able to replace the uh, front panel um, directly, put a battery in it, and open it right up. Um, the code is maintained inside in the uh, locking mechanism. So we're going to try that. Before I destroy the safe, I'd rather just uh, spend the money. Now, Canon is sending me a replacement. If it's a 5715, it shouldn't be an issue. I should be able to connect this and um, uh, open it up with the original combination. Now, Canon says you need to drill it. The local safe guy says you need to drill it. So we'll see. Um, hopefully not. If we don't, uh, I'm going to save me and uh, hopefully you... Uh, hundreds of dollars in uh, replacing one of these things. I'm not usually one to be really down on uh, vendors, but uh, it's been five weeks and Canon uh, still hasn't shipped, so I called them and what they told me is it's still on back order. 
So I went ahead and ordered one uh, off of eBay and um, got it today. So I'm um, pretty excited to see if this is going to work or not. Uh, this is from Lagarde LG. It's a 5715. Let me uh, show you what it looks like. I got it upside down. Uh, it looks similar. Only difference is there's no compartment on the bottom for the battery. The batteries are put in through the back. And looking at this one, I'm a little concerned because there is a cable already in there. And um, I have no way of putting this cable into the safe. So we're going to find out how this is going to work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back off just to find out what it looks like inside of here. Let's do that now. Yeah, this cable has got me a little concerned because if I have to feed this cable into the uh, safe, then kind of toast this whole uh, this whole project and expenditure was for nothing. But we'll find out. So this is what we got. Um, basically, this cable is tied in to a little connector, which looks to be identical. To the connector that's on the uh, on the safe itself so the next step is uh let's go ahead and test this I'm gonna hook up the cable from the safe to the connector on this uh, control pad put a battery in it and see what happens and hopefully this will uh, fix the problem we'll find out all right so we're at the safe and um, this does fit. Let me see if I can get a close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do here is connect this cable to this connector, flat end down, or that's the way the other cable was installed. Get this installed. It's clicked in. It's a good start. I'm going to put the battery on. Battery's on. I'm just going to hold it. And of course, I'm not going to tell you what my combination is, so if you will wait for that, it's not going to happen. But let's try it and see. success all right let's do that again again um, <laughs> I actually forgot the combination but um what I'm doing is I'm keying in the original combination that uh, this safe had before the uh, before it failed and um, as I was told by a uh, master safe Smith I guess you could call it um, the code is actually on the inside component not on the keypad so having said that, here we go again. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to get ready to permanently install this. I don't want to stress that cable out, so I'm going to pull that. So let's go ahead and get that keypad installed. Let me show you how they're installed on these safes. The old keypads are screwed in. You basically have to destroy the keypad. The new safes actually have these mounting screws. And the way these work is they screw in and the uh, front panel basically slides on. Kind of locks in place but not really secure. So the way these are going to go on on top. Luckily there must be a standard safe manufacturers follow because at least the threads seem to to match. Now there's already a hole in the safe. That's not going to give you access to the area you need to get to to unlock it or you wouldn't have to drill it in the first place. Alright so those two screws are in. So here's the two mountain screws and uh, the way these will work 
this mountain plate will basically go on like so, actually, like so, and snap on. Also means it can snap off. So we want to make sure when we mount this back onto this guy that this tab faces towards the bottom. Right? Yeah. So here comes the front part. Let's take the battery out. And I say this is the front part because what we want to do is we're going to have to run this wire through here, connect it. I know this is kind of hard to see. All right, getting it back together. Just uh, reconnected this. Let's tuck this in here. And um, I want to make sure this tabs towards the bottom, so that's the way it will be. Move this out of the way. And there we go. We have a new combo in the safe. Actually, I'm going to open it. And there we go. Easy. Earlier I mentioned why you don't want to drill a safe. Uh, and there's a very good reason for not drilling the safe. Because with these new combinations, I think almost all the safes use this style. Where it pops right off. And uh, what that means, if you have drilled the safe to open it up, that means that anybody that really wants to get into your safe that understands even a modicum of how safes work will be able to pop this off, stick a screwdriver or whatever in that hole, and open up your safe. So drilling a safe really compromises it. And um, as far as I'm concerned, you might as well just cut the damn thing open and throw it away or use it as a storage vault of some kind because um, it's, really, uh, it's not really secure anymore. Anyway, let me put this one back together. And um, that's a pleasing sound. I've not been able to get into this guy for quite a while now. And actually, it's time to change the uh, desiccant dehumidifier. But uh, anyway, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.